what's going on. We're gonna take our second ride. It's the next day. So I went this morning, I took my motorcycle permit test and I passed. So that was awesome. Oh no. So we are now fully legal, able to ride out here. Got the permit, got the tag. Good to go. I just ordered a uh, some riding boots and a riding jacket. It's got some built-in SE rated armor. And I got some leather gloves. So we'll be all nice and safe in the next coming days whenever it gets here. You guys should be in second at these low speeds. Third didn't feel right. <clears throat> Where you're supposed to shift on a bike. Should probably look into it. It doesn't sound like it needs to shift or anything though, so I'll just listen to it. And this thing is smooth. This is awesome. I got this car in front of me so I could keep a slow pace. <laughs> it's like my pace car. It's like, you will not go faster than 35. And I'm like, okay. That's cool. I gotta keep that throttle steady on the turn. I was all kind of on and off of it. Man, it is such a beautiful day. What a good day to go out and get my... So it's a learner's permit that I got. It lasts for a year and I could renew it six months after that year. So up to 18 months I could have this. And I didn't have to take the skills test, it was just a written test. Um, I actually studied this time and I, uh, I only had to answer 21 out of the 25 questions and I had one wrong out of those and I didn't even have to answer the other ones because I already had enough to, to pass it. So that was pretty cool and then it was just $20. I got the tag and transferred the title yesterday and that was really it was like a hundred and three dollars something like that so I mean not bad you know all in all it's been really cheap to the riding gear I got it all on sale it was all clearance like a couple year old stuff but name brand stuff so that was nice to get that and uh, and for good price too because it was all closeout stuff so it was like $135 for the boots, the jeans, and, uh, and the jacket.
what an insanely freaking beautiful day. This is nuts how gorgeous it is. I'm going to be doing some really nice rides over to like Gatlinburg, Tennessee and we'll go to Newport and Pigeon Forge. Try to take some back roads. And we'll be doing a lot of twisties. It'll be fun. It's going to be really nice to learn out here. And, you know, I've already got that like seven weeks experience on the dirt bike or pit bike. I know it's not a lot, but I mean, I feel comfortable. I feel really good about it and I feel good on the bike. It feels really natural. I, I've always mountain biked or done some type of bicycling. And, so I've always felt, you know, at home on a bike. So I think we'll do a little story time. So here's a little of my story. I, uh, family's Cuban. I was born in Miami, like most Cubans. And And, uh, yeah, I don't really shop, I don't go to clubs, I don't drink, I don't, I didn't really have, like, a purpose in Miami, there wasn't anything for me to do, so I was just getting in trouble a lot, I was always getting arrested, just dumb shit, nothing major, but, uh, I decided, like, three and a half years ago, I, I was working as a waiter in Ocean Drive, and, and I was making, like, 500 a day cash, you know, really good money. Um, I ended up getting a studio apartment on South Beach, right on Ocean Drive. And not on Ocean Drive, I was working on Ocean. I was uh, two blocks, three blocks from Ocean, 7th and Euclid. And, uh, and it was nice, you know, and people would say that's successful, they're on the road to success, but I, I just, I wasn't happy. And I, I was spending all my money. Uh, I ended up, I had like $1,000 to my name, and uh, I was like, man, I'm... I really want to travel, uh, and so I'm going to go for it, and I bought a plane ticket to Denver, Colorado, and stayed at a hostel. I only had a thousand dollars to my name, and I stayed at this hostel, and um, I knew I had like 30 days based on the race and how much I was spending on food and stuff like that. And, Some loose gravel here. Yeah, we're good. And uh, so I knew I had like 30 days and I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a job lined up, nothing like that. Oh, some loose rocks. Um, so I ended up applying at a ski resort to be the action photographer. I hadn't snowboarded in forever, only on like family vacations. And um, I'm 30 now, I just turned 30. So I hadn't been on family vacation in a long time. I moved out when I was like 18. And so, and so I, uh, I got the job as the action photographer on this mountain. And it was just awesome, you know, super cool. Really great experience and uh, and I had a blast. I was there for the winter and then the next summer I went over to, uh, to Alaska. And I spent the summer in Alaska. And I camped and hiked for the first time. Uh, I'll talk more on that later because that's, that's really interesting, my time there. Um, after that, I went to Colorado again for another winter. Ooh, lots of rocks. Yeah, now that I've seen all these rocks, now I'm being pretty cautious, so I'll be in and out with the talking. Second day riding a motorcycle, I'm not trying to focus too much on, uh, on talking. It is all downhill by the way. So these are really my first downhill twisties. 
on the motorcycle. Definitely different than Twisty's uphill. And so I did the second winter in Colorado and then I did a summer in Colorado and I took up mountain biking and I fell in love with it, man. It was just incredible. I absolutely love mountain biking. I think it's just so fun. I do the uphills to get to the downhills, but I, I prefer the downhill. But I mean, I'll climb forever if I have to. Then I uh, did a final winter in Colorado and then I moved to Hawaii for nine, nine and a half months. And um, I did nothing out there. I jumped off cliffs and I uh, went snorkeling. And I just hung out, pretty much just living life and doing whatever I felt like doing. Oh, I gotta learn to blip the throttle better on this. There we go. That was a little cleaner. So, I got bored of Hawaii. And I got the opportunity to come work out here in North Carolina. So I, uh, we have this rental place. Um, it's a big three-story house. And I'm blipping the throttle all wrong. <laughs> So we're here at Dave's 209, and this is on uh, North Carolina 209. It's this state road out here. Um, they call it call it the Rattler. It's like it's like 320 curves and 28 miles, something like that. It's crazy. Uh, so we just rode a small portion of it. I'm gonna get a milkshake. And I'll keep talking when we leave. All right, guys, we are back and feeling fully satisfied. Holy cow. And I can't see that neutral light. Uh, yeah, it's in neutral. satisfied right now. Those shakes are awesome. I think we're going to continue on the 209 a little bit. Definitely uh, feel like I want to keep riding. Just such a beautiful day. All right, so I was talking about my job. So I live on 63 acres. There's a cabin at the bottom, right by a creek. It's beautiful. I live there. And then in exchange for living there, I, I do the cleanings on this three um, story house that they have at the top of the hill. They rent it out, and uh, and I, I still get paid for it because they do it through Airbnb. So on Airbnb, you um, you charge the guests a rental fee. You know, that's just something that the guest pays, and you kind of negotiate it with them, or it's predetermined. And uh, 
So yeah, that's what I do. So I, I really only work like, I don't know, six to eight days a, a month maybe, if that. So I have a lot of free time. Which is nice. Because this thing gets like 50 miles to a gallon, the guy told me. So I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of riding. Especially if the days keep up like this. I mean, holy moly. It's beautiful out here. And this is what I bought the bike for. I'm, I'm not going to be doing wheelies and fucking speeding and shit. I mean, I... I'll get a little speed, but I'm not going to try to do anything where I need a full one-piece leather jacket and some knee sliders. That's not going to... That's not the intention. going to go towards Lake Junaluska. so good being on this bike. Gave them the little downward wave. <laughs> I hear people do that. I hear that's a thing. Lots of little rocks. Oh my god. I think I some good torque so I could just keep it in third. satisfied. I'm feeling good. So I'm only going like 45 and the speed limit's 55. It feels fast though. <laughs> and look at how pretty that is. Holy moly. Those people got some nice property.
definitely going to slow down for these. Holy crap. These are some serious twisties. I do not feel confident taking those yet. And most people learn to ride in an empty parking lot. I choose to ride, learn to ride on 209 The Rattler. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why, it's fucking the only road next to my house. I live on Meadow Fork and the only road that Meadow Fork goes to besides a dirt road is this road. And I could take it one of two ways and taking it to Hot Springs is way gnarlier. It's even tighter twisties.
see you ride the Rattler. Starts here. 290 curves next 24 miles. And now 36 miles. Well, that other sign says something different, but it's something around that. We're just going to ride it backwards back to the house now. This wind is kicking so freaking hard. <laughs>
up. <laughs> oh man, I'm part of the bike life now. Holy moly. I'm gonna wave at every biker now. And they have to wave at me. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, if they want to, you know, they don't have to.
Oh, I took it the wrong way. <laughs> Damn. I turned the wrong way. on the pit bike and up that dirt road it goes to Max Patch. It's really nice. Not gonna ride that way on the bike though. I actually live on this street. I just took it the wrong way. so messed up I just stand up on that completely to make this left.
I haven't been leaning that much with the motorcycle because I'm so used to the dirt bike where you kind of counterbalance where you lean the bike but your body goes the opposite way and it's not like that on the motorcycle man I, uh, I need to lean with it and just trust these road tires it's just hard because I'm so used to knobbies and you do not trust knobbies that way you just don't do it turn around left turn signal was on that whole time not cool <laughs> gotta remember to press to cancel